Namaste. Welcome to the Cancer Series brought to you by Apollo CBCC. The topic that we are addressing today is lung cancer in times of COVID-19. As the world battles COVID-19 right now, a lot of rumors, assumptions, even facts are bound to circulate regarding the association of COVID-19 and lung cancer. Since COVID-19 is generally affecting the lungs, a lot of questions tend to be asked on how they might or they might not impact each other. At Apollo CBCC, we believe that it is important to answer all these floating questions and curb the misconceptions around it. To do that, we have with us one of the frontiers of cancer care, Dr. Akash Shah, Senior Consultant, Medical Oncology at Apollo CBCC. He will answer all our questions and doubts. Stay with us, dear viewers. Welcome, Dr. Akash. Yes, thank you. Doctor, thank, thank you, you for being with us today. I yes. would like to invite you to introduce yourself. Yes, I'm uh, Dr. Akash, a medical oncologist, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm here at uh, Apollo CBCC Cancer Care uh, since last seven years. Um, so, as a, working as an oncologist. We are glad to know. Doctor, you can introduce yourself by, you know, where did you complete your degree from? How was your journey? If you can just let us know about a uh, little uh, it, uh, uh, yeah, in, in, in brief, I can say it's, uh, my graduation, it's MBBS I've done from Baroda Medical College and uh, mm -hmm. uh, my uh, super speciality in uh, onco oncology, medical oncology that I've done from Chennai, it's Adair Cancer Institute. Uh, and that uh, I finished in 2014, and since seven years I'm working at Apollo Cancer Center, Ahmedabad. Great to know that, Doctor. Uh, so without uh, wasting any time, I think we should directly go to the questions that I have today. Uh, the first question, Doctor, and a very basic one. Does COVID-19 increase the chance of having lung cancer? Um. COVID-19, uh, it uh, doesn't increase uh, any cancer. It's a, it's a, it, it's a, a very straight sentence. Uh, so it's uh, uh, actually uh, COVID-19 problems, morbidity. It's related uh, related with the lungs because it uh, actually damages the lung tissue. So patients are having uh, difficulty in breathing and oxygen saturation goes down. So uh, it's something related, pathologies related to lung, um, but it doesn't increase cancer or lung cancer at all. But uh, we see more number of lung cancer during COVID because lung cancer is uh, actually, um, it, it's a mass in the lung, which develops in the lung and the lung is the very soft, uh, soft tissue and small mass will in the lung will not have any problem to the patient so uh, usually lung cancer uh, we see when patient is in third stage at least third or fourth stage because in the first and second stage um, uh, patient will not have any complaint most of the times so now during covid we see almost very large number of at least in the crores uh, the, there are patients uh, of the COVID during last one year and uh, uh, very large number of uh, COVID patients have done CT chest uh, for the uh, lung damage due to COVID uh, and it's uh, incidental detection of the mass which is tumor which is the lung cancer uh, as CT scan was done for the uh, uh, for the COVID problems. So such numbers are increased uh, during the time of the COVID and uh, it is actually one side if patient improves from the COVID it's good for the patient because uh, that uh, lung cancer detected early. It's like the screening. Screening uh, what, what uh, if, uh, one should understand by the screening is screening is the procedure uh, it's it's a di diagnostic procedure in the cancer where patient doesn't have any symptom, but uh, the diagnosis needs to be done to diagnose the cancer early. 
so like this is this happens this ctgs during the covid time it happened like the uh, screening of the lung cancer and so many patients uh, we have uh, seen uh, with the early stage it's a stage 1 or 2 of the lung cancer Uh, and uh, one side it's uh, good for the patient that they they have diagnosed early and uh, as uh, everybody knows that if cancer diagnosed early then chance of treatment chance of cure will be very high so this is the reason why see uh, why we see more lung cancers during covid time because we see we do more ct test uh, to see the lung problems due to covid it's an incidental finding that's right that's right thank you doctor uh, if if we change the question the other way around you know does lung cancer make me more prone to covid 19 uh no not at all uh, uh, since last more than one year we haven't seen that cancer itself uh, it increases the chance of the uh, covid uh problem uh, sometime happens with the lung cancer is uh, due to lung cancer uh, patient's lungs might have compromised uh, so it it may cause there is a fluid collection in the lungs or uh, uh, sometimes large tumor is there and it is compressing one side of the lung so already patient might be having breathing problems due to underlying lung cancer and if such patient contracting uh, covid 19 and uh, uh, that patient uh, uh, for that patient if there is lung damage occurred due to covid 19 as it happened to so many normal patients so in such patient already compromised lung function with more damage due to covid patient will become more sick and we have seen such patients we have seen such patients that already compromised lung function and uh, uh, they uh, they uh, uh, had covid and uh, lung damage due to covid and uh, it it's very difficult to manage because already uh, their lung function is highly compromised so lung cancer doesn't increase the chance of the covid infection but if there is already compromised lung and uh, uh, covid related damage of the lung is there then it will be uh, difficult to treat them and difficult to uh, make them out from that condition okay okay so uh, unfortunately consider that uh, a lung cancer patient gets covid uh, how would it be for that patient what would it affect um so uh, on um, one thing one has to understand that uh, most of the cancer the treatment is little long especially it's related with the oncologist and uh, especially if chemotherapy is going on so it's it's goes on for 4 months 6 months 1 year and uh, it's continuous treatment so every 2 2 weekly 3 weekly you have to visit to hospital to take chemotherapy like that and uh, if uh, somebody is uh, contracting covid infection so as we know it is a highly contagious uh, highly contagious infection so uh, even if uh, it's our patient but when patient is having covid infection uh, we can't allow them in the uh, chemotherapy ward because other patient or so for such patient we have to uh, keep them isolated till they recover from the covid and uh, at least during uh, this time uh, the treatment of the lung cancer will be affected will be deferred and uh, sometimes we see uh, problems have happened because uh, uh, during that time uh, cancer treatment will not be delivered and uh, problems of cancer might increase so these are the problems actually we are facing but uh, problem is that uh, covid is highly contagious disease and already patient is having covid uh, we can't allow them um, in the day care uh, which can infect the other patients or hospital staff and uh, second problem is uh, it's not like possible to deliver chemotherapy uh, when patient is having covid because sometime patient may become uh, sick due to covid and uh, if we have delivered chemotherapy chemotherapy also might have some complication it may exaggerate the condition so during the uh, time of the covid infection we don't deliver any cancer related treatment and we have to wait uh, uh, for at least 14 days till patient becomes okay and becomes covid negative okay uh, thank you doctor uh, the next question is uh, 
what treatment will be administered to a lung cancer patient with covid it's a complex situation so what treatment and what processes will be carried out so if uh, you are saying during covid time then uh, it's okay but if patient is having covid infection then at that time uh, uh, we don't deliver any treatment and we just uh, uh, give time to patient to recover from the covid and then we give further treatment but uh, uh, otherwise uh, 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 as per treatment related to lung infection during uh, sorry lung cancer during covid time so there are so many treatment it's not like just chemotherapy that we give to the lung cancer patient there are so many targeted therapies so many immunotherapies available and it depends on the what type of the cancer it is uh, that lung cancer treatment uh, will be given and uh, since last 5 to 10 years so many simple tablets are available for the lung cancer but yes it need it th those all are the targeted therapies and for that specific target it's a mutation it should be there in the lung cancer that it it will be diagnosed by molecular uh, testing in the molecular laboratory and uh, uh, it's it's like patient is taking one medicine uh, like multivitamin tablet uh, daily once or twice a day and uh, uh, it it just continues for years together that patient just takes medicine uh, for uh, advanced stage lung cancer so there are so many easy option also available during uh, uh, in lung cancer and such tablets actually can be taken even if patient uh, patient is having covid also so if we say about the chemotherapy so chemotherapy cannot be delivered if patient is having covid infection but such tablets can be continued uh, uh, in the lung cancer patient even if uh, lung cancer patient is having covid so there are so many options and uh, during covid time if a uh, 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 patient is having specific uh, mutation that specific type of the lung cancer uh, we always uh, 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 offer patient uh, such tablet it will be very easy uh, and uh, treatment interruption will not be there even if patient is having covid infection thank you doctor so uh, we know that it is evolved the entire process the entire uh, treatment has evolved you know uh, i want to ask you does covid 19 and lung cancer this combination does this mean you know death only is it so bad or how is it no 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 no, no. I, I i i don't agree with it and uh, or so many lung cancer patient had uh, covid especially in the uh, last second wave second wave which we saw in the last two months and uh, it is not like the uh, it, it's it's a death if uh, it's a death sentence if fish lung cancer patient contract covid 19 infection and uh, um, uh, in my all cancer patients actually uh, how in uh, infection is there with the normal people and that so many weak patient also had uh, infection covid 19 infection and they just uh, 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 get out of the infection uh, within uh, 10 to 14 days without any problem uh, but, and uh, few of uh, my cancer patients also became sick but it's like similar percentage how normal people became sick only problem i said is the if uh, somebody is having already compromised lung function which might be due to lung cancer or sometimes cancer uh, of the other part of the body which is spread to lung and already compromised lung function and due to covid infection is more lung damage happens then such patients will be having a little difficult condition to uh, recover from that uh, part because sometimes covid infection also recovers very slowly and especially during that time uh, cancer treatment uh, mostly it's uh, stopped due to uh, covid um, problems so such patients will have a difficult time uh, but otherwise uh, all lung cancer patients or any other cancer patients they uh, mo uh, mostly I i'll say more than 90 percent they have recovered from their infection from the covid 19. okay so uh, for all our viewers who unfortunately have lung cancer and are also contracted to covid and are in real anxiety and stress I would like to uh, tell you through Dr. Akash that uh, it is curable. There are so many ways to cure them. So it, it is only a matter of will. It is only a matter of belief. 
and cure is possible. Uh, Doctor, another question is this: that uh, uh, does the treatment for lung cancer does it get delayed or is it um, you know extended if you get COVID by any chance? Mm, uh, yes, but uh, lung cancer is not like uh, some, uh, I would say it's an emergency like uh, the uh, 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 some blood cancer. Blood cancer, uh, it happens, it's, uh, it's like an emergency and we have to treat it very immediately. Uh, but lung cancer is not the emergency condition that we can wait for uh, uh, a week or 10 days uh, to start the treatment uh, if patient doesn't have much problem. Um, like patient is does, uh, does not have very too much breathlessness uh, and before uh, starting the treatment then it needs to be it needs to be addressed uh, very fast but otherwise at least i can say 90 percent of patients are stable and uh, they don't have much problem and we can wait for 10 to 14 days to start the treatment once they get the infection so it is not the big issue only thing is uh, uh, for them, if uh, due to COVID-19, if as other normal people's lung damage happens, uh, if uh, for lung cancer patient also due to COVID-19 infection, if lung damage happens, then it will be difficult for us because sometimes a uh, few patients, uh, uh, for me, it happens that uh, uh, due to COVID infection, they are now oxygen dependent after two months also. And uh, for them, it will be very difficult to give the cancer treatment uh, with the dependency of the oxygen because uh, uh, from uh, uh, it's very difficult for multiple hospital visits also because they have to come in the ambulance and with oxygen cylinder um, so that uh, part will become difficult otherwise uh, uh, once they recover and we can delay treatment for 10 to 14 days it's not the big issue that's right uh so, doctor, one more thing. We are all now getting vaccinated. We are uh, encouraging our pe people around us, our friends, everyone to get vaccinated, especially in families. Uh, is it possible for lung cancer patients to get vaccinated? Yes. So, uh, for uh, whatever uh, vaccines are available in the India, uh, whatever these three, four strains are available, so no vaccine is contraindicated in the cancer patients. So all, all the cancer patients uh, and uh, including lung cancer uh, patients should take vaccine because uh, uh, vaccine in very high number, it prevent infection also. But as we know, very large number of vaccinated uh, individuals also have contracted COVID infection. But, <clears throat> but it uh, prevents seriousness of the COVID-19 infection as you are having uh, already one baseline immunity to fight against the COVID-19 infection if you have contracted after vaccination. So uh, most of the uh, uh, patients like COVID-19 who have uh, infected after vaccines, uh, it's like almost 98 to 99 percentage, they are just home in home isolation. Very few like, uh, uh, I would say 2 to 3 percent patient only, they, they needed hospital um, admission and very minimal mortality means death happens if somebody has uh, taken both vaccines and at least after one month, if somebody has got the infection. So uh, similar effect is there for uh, cancer and uh, lung cancer patients also. And uh, it's nothing in the lung cancer to, to for not taking the vaccine at any point of time, uh, except if due to chemotherapy, they are having very low blood counts. Otherwise, any time during the treatment of the lung cancer also, they should take vaccine and finish the two schedules of the vaccinations. I'm sure that... Uh all the listeners and viewers who have their friends, family members or their selves who are um, affected by lung cancer and COVID or, or not, uh, I request them to get in touch with their doctor. I'm sure this might be happening. But if not, uh, we need to break myths and we need to go ahead and get our vaccinations done, consulting our doctors. Thank you, doctor. Uh, one more last question that I'd like to ask you is, if a patient uh, who is undergoing lung cancer treatment, how long do the uh, COVID antibodies remain after recovery? 
so right now actually there is not much data that how much covid 19 antibodies are uh, remaining uh, as per normal individual also or lung cancer patient and uh, it will uh, the, uh, how it remains it will be like normal individual only and lung cancer it's not a different uh, individual that the covid 19 uh, antibodies will be for shorter time or longer time like that um so uh, as per available data right now so for almost 3 to 6 months there is a high number of uh, antibodies are there in the body and uh, uh, after that uh, the an- antibody level is slowly reducing but uh, uh, you, it it's uh, it doesn't mean that uh, you will be become uh, unimmunated uh, uh, for the covid 19 uh, as time passes but yes the level of antibodies are reducing and so uh, that everybody is uh, worried about the uh, that waves are coming at after one year one year so it's there but uh, there will be some base base immunity will be there once uh, somebody is having in, uh, infected or somebody has uh, has been vaccinated uh, so and in the second wave also we have seen that there there are large number of uh, individuals have contracted covid 19 infection uh, and uh, uh, very very few patients yes i will say it's uh, the few patients have uh, second time infection also but those are very few number of patients so it means that uh, once patient is having uh, in a uh, already covid 19 infection and they are having some basic immunity which is preventing to get uh, covid 19 infection again but uh, again i am saying it doesn't mean that you you cannot get but yes numbers are very less but you should take all the precautions and wearing mask and social distancing to keep uh, at least um, uh, still we are having large number of covid 19 infection thank you so much doctor that was highly informative uh, i would like to request you to in case you know you already answered a lot of questions and uh, it was quite descriptive but if you would like to say anything to uh, our viewers who joined us uh, about lung cancer and covid anything else that you would like to add so uh, i i would say uh, specifically that directly there is lung cancer and covid 19 there is no connection at all only connection is there if there is uh, lung is damaged already due to lung cancer and it's uh, top of that if damaged due to due to covid 19 infection then uh, there might be uh, more symptoms due to covid 19 so it can happen uh second second thing is uh, numbers in the lung cancer uh, uh, increased during the covid 19 it's because of increased number of ct scans are happening which have never happened uh, in in the past so because of that uh, so many patients are stage 1 2 which they don't have any symptom but due to ct scan they are diagnosed due, uh, with the lung cancer and uh, uh, third thing is uh, lung cancer what if i see 100 patients 80 patients are smokers so it's a uh, uh, 15 to 20% patients are non smokers so if you are non smoker still you can get the infection uh, so if uh, one my patient can ask me they, I, i have never smoked in my uh, lifetime but still i got the lung cancer because it's a 20 percentage but i would say in the reverse way if there is smoking is stopped in this in our society then at least we can save those 80 patients who have developed lung cancer due to uh, smoking so and and it's only uh, out of uh, 100 but i i'm saying 100 if uh, the the uh, the lung cancer patients in india it's in lakhs so if uh, it's uh, uh, we can keep it as one lakh number then uh, one has to treat 20000 and 80000 can be saved and lung cancer is little deadly cancer as i said it's uh, when it's stage 1 to 1 will not have any symptoms it symptoms happens once it's in stage 3 and 4 so uh, it, due to this problem it becomes deadly because it's very difficult to diagnose in stage 1 and 2 so uh, uh, please uh, uh, don't smoke if you are smoker quit smoking and it will help you in the uh, uh, to prevent lung cancer uh, and uh, the, just uh, as you are lung cancer patient 
don't afraid of covid-19 infection uh, the problems happens as uh, for, for due to covid-19 as happens with the normal people only that's an important point doctor uh, so we end this session with uh, 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 an appeal that if you are a smoker you must try to quit as soon as possible you know uh, the messages that come on um, cigarette packages and uh, in theaters before movies smoking kills it does kill and it's a serious message dear friends we request you apollo hospital requests you to quit smoking thank you doctor this was quite uh, informative and interactive i am sure that most of our uh, viewers will benefit from this live uh, viewers we will see again in another live session by apollo hospitals thank you all thank you doctor thank you thank you